All right, doing hand dull drop day. Um, so some just some quick tips on this before I run through it. The very first one is always, always, always check when it starts. So when there's an incoming double drop, it will tell you how long, you know, T minus two days, three days, whatever. And be sure not to waste your refreshes or um, your nodes uh, usage on that particular day until the double drop happens. So for me, my reset is at midnight central time, right? But the double drop starts at 7 p.m. So that means I gotta wait until then to actually start using that node or else I'll waste a bunch of pools that otherwise could have been 2x, right? That is the most important thing. I have done this before where I totally forgot about it, spaced out, and then found out later that evening, oh, hey, there's an in-game mail that says there's 2x shards. <laughs> so you got to be real careful about that. Didn't do that today. Other big one. So I got five minutes until this goes away. So I'm just making this in time. But you will get 80 energy, or at least I do, an hour prior to the double drop going live. So it's really important that you don't pull that until after it goes live. And that way you can use all all of this energy towards that and then it'll save you a little bit on coring for coring for uh, extra energy so if you're trying to stay free to play or just save some money um, you know it's good to do that the other thing you can do is look at your campaign energy refill and see how close you are to uh, a new energy coming up and so you may not want to pull it until after that new energy pops and then you got five minutes to work with so I got two minutes to work with which is plenty so first thing is you want to make sure you got your priorities in check, um, make sure you know who you need to spend the most on, and then also kind of figure out how many cores you're willing to spend. So the first thing is you have, um, of course, you know, how much energy it takes per pool on the node. So for me, it's 20. So I'm just going to start hitting these and, oh, hang on. Yeah, it does say, and that's the other thing. Always make sure it says 4x. If it does not say 4x and you know that the event is live, you need to restart your game and reload it and then double check. All right, so that's zero so far. That's not good. <laughs> but you know what? We got a lot more to go and we'll keep pulling. Come on. I need, I, this is definitely the worst I've ever done on this node. There's four. All right, so we're at 100 cores now for refreshing the node to hit it more often. And we're only at four shards, which is the worst I have seen. So um, this is where it gets to be, well, all right. So we know we've got today to finish and then tomorrow as well to do double drops. So at midnight, I can do double drops until 7 p.m. So I'm gonna hit it again. I got a lot of cores to spend, so I'm going to keep coring. Um, but this is pretty disappointing. Only getting four in or four shards in ten pools. That's that's pretty bad. Um, so that's a one out of ten. That's ten percent drop rate. Can't stay that bad forever, right? Got to be positive. All right. So we'll keep doing this again. There's four more. <sighs> Come on. I keep seeing the extended like row, but it's just those purple drops. All right. There's twelve. Come on. All right. So I always, on double drop days, I always do my 100 core pools. So that would be 300 cores just on the node itself. And then whatever you have to spend on energy. I think that that's pretty reasonable for, you know, depending on what you're trying to get. Uh, if you're not really pushing hard for a specific character, then it's not that big of a deal. There's, okay. So I got 16 and let's see, 10, 25 pools. So that's... Four, four out of 25, <laughs> that's pretty awful. Now the question is, do I want to keep going? I still have my energy refresh at 50, which is not too expensive. And, um, you know, that's because I saved that 80 for when it was coming um, to the double drop time. So that's uh, helping me save some cores there. So if you are trying to stay free to play or just cut down on your core usage, try to, uh, try to save up your energy to about 100-ish. Um, for when the double drop starts and then pull that uh, free energy as well um, So I think I'm gonna do one more pull of this just because I really want to get Phoenix and This is expensive, but I got my 50 core refreshes still so it's not too bad because I would be spending these anyway Golly come on didn't even get another set. Wow. Okay. I'm not gonna invest any more in this now. That's pretty bad only 16 shards on yeah, that was that was 30 pools, so that's that's four out of 16 or four out of 30 
tries. So that's that's awful, right? Because he had the pre-5, then 10, 15 is the 50s, 20, 25 for the 100s, and then one 200. Yeah, so that'd be 30 pulls total, and I got 16 shards. That's awful. That's a terrible drop rate. I always kind of speculate to myself that maybe they drop the uh, drop rates on these things whenever it's double drop, just to screw with people, so that they spend more cores, but I don't know if there's any truth to that, so we'll see. Uh, but yeah, I'm just going to spend the rest of my energy on these guys, um, just because, you know, why not? Uh, let's see. Man, there's four. There's eight. Damn, why couldn't you be like that for Hand Assassin? Jeez. Uh, so that's pretty much it. Um, you know, that wasn't a great set, but that's what we got to deal with. So I'll do it again at midnight and see if I can do a little better. But, you know, I'm really trying to get about 30 to 40 shards for each double drop, and then I should be okay. Um, just because we're coming up on, let's see, I think we got about 13 days until phoenix starts and we should have one more double drop they said next week for hand assassin uh so i'm waiting to see how that goes and uh hopefully hopefully i'll be at six stars by about that time with the next double drop coming but we'll see anyway all right guys take care